Hi, I just want to share a few thoughts with you today. When um, when I'm in my prayer time or when I'm out on a run, there are different thoughts that come into my head. And I was thinking this past Saturday when I was on my, my long run, um, three phrases, dig deep, bow low, stand tall. We have to dig really deep to be able to stand tall. Um, and that digging deep, it's about digging deep into the Word, of course. That's, that's my number one priority. Also, digging deep into myself, learning what God has already planted inside of me that hasn't quite been revealed yet. Um, the grayer my hair gets, the older I get, the more I realize that I don't know about myself. I don't fully understand um, what my capabilities are. I have placed so many limitations on myself. Um, when I was out running, I got to about mile seven, and my goal for that day was seven and a half miles. And um, as I was running towards our house, my husband was walking away from our house. So we, we were passing each other. He was going on his walk and I was coming home from my run. And he just looked at me and he said, you're almost done, you can do it. And, and you know, that gave me energy. I thought, okay, I, I can go around this curve and, and I could do a little bit more. So I, I went around and, and there was another place where he saw me again, and he just kind of yelled to me from, from across the street, go, Alita, go. And, um, and, you know, that helped. And I thought, okay, great, I can make it home. You know, that's probably about 7.1 or whatever. I won't get to my 7.5, but, um, but I'll at least have, have done a good effort, and, and I'm not going to stop and walk. I will run the rest of the, rest of the way home and come around the corner and there's another friend of mine and and she says go Alita go and I was like thank you God because that was exactly what I needed I needed that push to dig a little deeper and um, I jogged to the end of the street turned around went back and, and did that loop again and by the time I got home I had done 7.61 miles my goal was seven and a half. I was about to stop at seven, but just having um, somebody spur me on helped me dig a little deeper. Dig deep into God's Word. Dig deep into your quiet time and dig deep within yourself. Bow low. Bowing low is about bowing in prayer. Bowing low is about having humility. Bowing low is being willing to learn from other people being willing to be strengthened and encouraged by other people. One of the people that was um, that, that yelled out at me, she's a lot younger than I am, but she's been such an inspiration to me because I have seen that when, when God puts something on her heart, she attacks it, she goes after it and gets it done. And um, so bow low means don't be too prideful to learn from somebody that's younger than you. Um, there's so much we can learn from one another. Bow low in prayer. Bow low in humility. And then stand tall. Stand tall against whatever comes your way. Stand tall against any opposition. Stand tall um, against the, the schemes or the plans that, that the enemy might have to bring you down. Stand tall up against that. And if you've dug deep, if you have bowed low, then you can also stand tall knowing that you're doing what God has called you to do, knowing that you have the ability, you have all the strength, and God didn't give you a spirit of timidity. He didn't give you a spirit of fear. He gave you a spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline, and you can stand tall in the gifts that God has given you. Take care.